Okay, this is a. Let me just see if I can put it on a different square. This is a bit of a follow on on this little. Uh, this little, from what I understood, it was crystal driven or it was tube driven. But on the last video, I sort of like came across a bit of an error but didn't really go too far into it because I didn't really think about it too much. But now I've been thinking about it and I've been playing around, I've been trying to work out what's right and what's wrong with this. But what I seem to have come across is that it doesn't seem to matter whether the tube's in or not. When it's in power mode, it bumps up everything. More stations, it's got more output power, it bumps up everything. That's without the tube in it. You put the tube in it, it's just exactly the same. You put it onto the crystal mode and you know you hardly get anything. So I'm just gonna put it onto crystal. I'm gonna turn the amp up full blast. I can hear a little bit of a buzz because this fluorescent light and if it gets too bad I'll turn that off and put the other light on. Oh maybe I can turn it off and put the other light on anyway. There we go. Okay. Right, it gives a nice ambiance in here, all yellow, but, you know, that's with that little lamp on full blast, okay, I'm not going to change anything, and this is on the setting, this is band one, which it says it's best for, like, night time, I've got this wire connected to the, um, the radiator, just outside this room, um, just because it was easier for me to get to because the walls there and the doors there and it's just on the opposite side of the, the outside of the door where I'd have to take the wire across all this electrics to put it over to that radiator I decided just to be as far away from electrics as possible um, and onto that radiator and I've also got um, just this, this coil connected now I tried it with the other coils this one does actually give me the best signal for what I want just sat on this um, on this here table. Otherwise, I'd have put the big one on here, and really, eh, there's a bit in it, but not enough to have this big ass thing on the table. So if I go through this, yeah, we get hardly anything, hardly anything. And I'm not going to be, you know, like, too pernickety with it because the little, you know, crystal bits that I've been putting together myself, it, it, it's not that great. It is better than this for what you're getting at the minute. Let me just make sure that's turned fully up. This is that's turned down. That's turned fully up on the little pot on here. And really, and this is set on to night. Oh, sorry, that was on day, but on night time. So, okay. A little bit of electrical hum there. There is a station, very faint, very faint. But it's this amp is 200 times, it's amplified it 200 times. So that little faint station, you can't hear with the crystal, you can't hear with the crystal uh, earpiece. Now some might say, oh, you're going a bit too quick for a crystal radio set. Oh, my, my ears are quite sensitive. You know, I've been playing with this thing now for days, and my ears are quite sensitive, and I can hear it. Just as I go past the station, I can hear a little tiny bit of a change, and it's all good. Don't worry about it. See, that? I can hear that just... There you go, that's probably about the loudest. Yeah. Okay, it's there. But that's not very loud at all. Not very loud at all. Oh, lovely thing. Okay. So and the other one you can hear is the air bands thing you know there's going to be people on there with knife cutters and stuff I want to know if it's going to land on my house so I can get out of it quick you know 
I don't want nothing vaporizing in here. Not burning anything else. I mean, that will freak the crap out of me for the rest of my life, so. Okay, so we can safely say that you're not really getting a lot on the crystal in the, in the nighttime thing without the, without the tubing. <laughs> without the tubing, um, that thing's just materializing, not vaporizing. Right, now I'm going to switch it into the power mode. Okay, so I'm going to switch it. I'm not going to switch it to day. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn the power on there because it doesn't say that you can't do this. I'm going to take it off the crystal. I'm going to put it onto power. And I'm going to turn that down. Okay. So this is on the most sort of sensitive area if it was at night without the tube. And as you can see, the tube is still not in it. Now this is a uh, standard now. The only thing that I've done is I didn't want the blue light in there. I didn't think the blue light looked very good. And this, this, it, well, this is on there, it gives it a nice little way. So. Versus Barcelona with Mourinho with Manager. So the amplifier works, you can, you can tell that, yeah. Okay, so... So right on the edge there, this is 131 picofarad, I think, this... Um, I don't know if this needs a little bit of extra. And... Um, it's the sports stations that seem to get the most power. Nobody cares, mate. I should say that's not fair, that's just my personal opinion. I can't really be bothered with football. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, then after that, so I'm going to just go back to that. So now. Okay. I'm going to switch it on to daytime. So that was night time. This is daytime. Now let me go back to night time. I'm going to put the tube in. I'm going to turn the power off first. I'm going to put the tube in. I don't think it really matters if I do that or not. I'm going to put the tube in. I'm not going to shove it in all the way. It's just, it's in there. I'm going to turn it back on. Would you take time out or would you want to get right back into this? To me, that doesn't really seem like there's any difference. No, no difference between the tube then being in or not being in. Now, I could just have this all wrong. You know, I'm not that bright. And so maybe I've just got this all wrong. Well, I'm just going to turn it off now. I'm going to take the tube out, turn it back on, and that station is still there. Doesn't really seem, apart from this on to a commercial, that there's any real difference between whether the tube's in or the tube's out. Let's just put that back in a minute. Now, this is probably just the, the way I'm operating it, you know, so put the tube back in, it's there. Now I'm going to put it into daytime mode. Okay, that's in nighttime mode, on power, with the tube in, or the tube out, makes no difference. Onto daytime mode. I mean, that's just distorting, that's... Uh, Maybe I'll turn it down there on the pot of it. And maybe that might help. But no, it doesn't. So I'll turn it back up and I'll turn that down. Because that's just amplifying that. But there's no extra stations to be had there. Um, let's go to the next band. a bit of volume just in case we're missing anything. Uh, 
There's a little section there. I couldn't really get a great deal on this. That's why if your car is written off or stolen, the rental line will arrange your higher car. And it's sure for up to 21 days in a row. So you can take those crazy kids. Okay, I'm just going to turn that down a bit just while I change this over because of the noise. Turn it back up a bit. The voice of China is to be stayed at the first nest stadium here in Beijing. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Beijing. This is in the daytime, right? So, this is when this tube is actually in. Because um, I think it's designed that you use the crystal at night and the tube in the day. So, just one last thing, we're going to take this out, because I'm hoping now that if I take the tube out, it's going to make a difference. I'm pretty much counting that it, it will do. And there we go. The tube is making a difference, because now we don't have anything. If I go into night time, We are receiving. This is on power mode. If I take that off and put it onto the crystal, I'll turn the power off there just to I'll turn the volume up full so we can hear the weak signals. And we get nothing. This is what I did when I first started the video, of course, went through all that. Uh, and we get nothing so there is definitely in daytime mode with the um, with the tube in that does help but then it doesn't seem to make any difference in nighttime mode with the tubes in or not because if the power is on it really helps out even with the tube out so I'm not quite sure how that works you know, it's probably just down to me and maybe the way I'm thinking of it or something. But I'm not quite sure how it works. So I'm just going to turn that down and put it back to power mode. The tube's still not in. It's only volume up it. And if I put it into day, no, into, into night, sorry. So, is it then? Is it then that at night, during the day, you put this in on day mode, and on day mode, without this in, you don't really get anything. And then at night, as long as it's in power mode, is this then amplifying the signal? and then it's being amplified again through this, that's why we get to hear it, but then if I put it directly just to crystal, without using any of this, and this doesn't come into it when it's in power mode on nighttime mode, and that's why we don't really get a great deal when it's just using the crystal, because, well, my antenna isn't good enough. I mean, we are pulling in stations, but, I don't know how many times it's, how many times it's been amplified. I, you know, I, I'm one of the more awkward ones. I just like to like to know how it works, and I'm not getting much success with the person I bought it from. They sort of like just writ out the instructions. See, so it was hard to tell, it sounded like that was actually louder than what it was when I first did it, but look, it's going to go in and out a bit, isn't it? Two different stations there. But it would just be so nice that if it uh, pulled it in the crystal. But it doesn't really. 
It is probably down to my aerial. Turn the time up full blast. I thought that because that was quite a busy band um, without the, uh, the power on, that you'd actually receive something on it. And they say to use this band, the, the two lowest, I presume they mean in two and one and two is the lowest. Because there we do get a, as faint as it is, you can't, the, you know, the headphone doesn't work with that like that. And I do realise I haven't got the best antenna. I have given it a ground connection though, and without that you just, you don't get anything. Um... I can just about hear something. It's funny if I move my hand, it sort of keeps a bit of volume on it. <laughs> And if I keep my fingers about three or four millimeters away from it, we get some volume. Does that mean there's just not enough aerial for it? Anyway, yeah, so basically, you know, I was just trying to work out why it was that on a power mode with the tube. That's right. They are fancy. With the tube in or out. With the tube in or out, it doesn't actually make any difference. Where has it gone wrong, guys, for, for Chelsea and Mourinho? Because now because obviously it's some of the houses have to find the signal, isn't it? Because why uh, is it I think on it's the a very, very strange situation work? Um, at Chelsea from being the best? And if this is supposed to be what makes it work when it's on power, but quite work for them that's not yeah you know, so moment, that's they look sluggish, doing that. they look lethargic and suddenly you know you, you can deal with one or two top players but out of form you know that happens as you know as you yeah. go through so but, i wonder how that know, actually you, works costas hasn't been in form and nazar hasn't been in form ivanovic uh you know because you turn the power up and as you can point as you can season, see season. defender uh, in the premier league fabregas he started last season he left him the, the weekend. He was, he was for me last season the first man on the team sheet. You put him before anybody else. He was that important. And it doesn't you matter know, whether that's it been or not, well. unless it's in daytime mode. Because on daytime mode, you get nothing at all, unless you put the tube in, and then you put the tube in. And you do get something. But it's quite distorted. That's not bad. Did that ever happen to you? No, it didn't ever happen to me. But um, yes, before you look at me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Transfer of course. Well, in the next morning. So if you tune it into peak power, it's just distortion. If you tune it off a bit, it doesn't distort, so... It's all bloody football, I mean, God, what could do with just getting rid of that band altogether? So as you tune it into the peak, it just distorts. 
and Bill Collins. Coasting the Earth was presented by Tom Heap. Billy Purvis meets the actor Brian Blessed. The artist Selena Azadeh, whose vows take part in the museums at Night Festival. It's got 150 million available to it, 9 volts, this 9 volts it requires, and he's only drawing 0 0.014 million. So, if anyone's got any ideas that could help me out with this, I'd really, really uh, decide now what's going on, really. Um, I'm not quite sure. All I can, all I can, all I can sort of understand is that maybe, I don't know, because it, it doesn't say that that's supposed to be amplified in this as such. I mean, I presumed it was going to do something with, you know, the signal from, from here. Um, but yeah, so, I wonder how that really works. Anyway, cheers for watching if you've put up with this so far.